Hi, Nick. I prepared a little video here that should demonstrate uh, the differences in alignment for the bones and how, what they could, how they could affect you while you're animating. So the, the first setup I've made is the, the x-axis, uh, basically the direction of the bone relative to an x-axis. So if I select all four of these bones, they're all pointing along the x. That's why I made the, the tips red, and I basically colored the sides uh, to demonstrate uh, which axis is pointing in which direction. So, for example, the blue sides here, you can see that they're pointing along the, the z-axis, and uh, the green side here is pointing towards the uh, the y-axis. Uh, and so, same uh, vice versa over here. Let it clearly define what the color. Anyways, so let's let's uh, start rotating these, and I'm going to go into into gimbal mode just to see what's going on. So this is what would happen if I was in. Well, it'll show us what what's going on with the f-curves. I'm going to go to auto key mode. I'm going to rotate along here. Uh, so, so far so good. This guy I'm going to rotate on the Y. So far so good. Oh, or was it? Because I just did that, we have now a gimbal lock. So not so good. So what would happen is at frame 40, if I were to rotate, first of all, in gimbal, I, I lost my F curve. so I can't even uh, rotate that way, so I'll have to go to local. Now, if I try to rotate on the Z, that's where all hell, hell breaks loose. You're going to see the... Uh, uh, the showing trajectory on the tip is starting to create all kinds of funky stuff. Like depending where I am, it'll it'll pop. Uh, meanwhile, in this guy, if I go back to gimbal, uh, there shouldn't be any problems until I push it too far. So in the case of fingers, you wouldn't need to rotate in this way, but if it was any other joint, you'd probably want to be able to control that. What's important to note is, in, regardless of the gimbal issue by making a y-axis uh, primary rotation, regardless of it, you always maintain the ability to roll the finger or the, the joint. There's no problem in, in, in rolling the bone. Uh, so now let's take a look at what happens with a y-axis alignment. Same deal. I set it up so that points along the y. Uh, I got one that's that's uh, aligned primarily for x, another one for z. Uh, so let's let's test this guy out, see what happens. So I'm going to grab this guy. I mean, I'm still in gimbal. I rotate on x. Right away you're going to notice some problems here. Because I am, nothing's being preserved. It's because it's x-axis alignment, or rather, I'm rotating on the x. The other two are not updating. And in this case, because it's going to be z, both of them are going to move, right? Based on our our understanding of, of gimbal. So that that's okay. But if I get to 40, and I want to rotate along the other way, we're going to get some freaky stuff because now I have no way of rolling this this bone. There's no way to roll it along itself and I try going into local and outsmarting it, you're going to notice these our, our gimbal issues are starting to show up and we're getting these bizarre curvatures, which means if I look at that, it's going to do this kind of weird curve, which is exactly the opposite of what I wanted, because I was just rotating on one axis, whereas here, I'm getting a pretty clean cut. So looking at it in gimbal again, uh, at, least, at least on this one, we're okay. This guy is causing some trouble. But in both cases, you are no longer able to roll on itself. So let's take a look at Z just to say that we've looked through everything. So same deal. I'm going to go to frame 20. I'm going to roll them down. I'm going to roll this one down. So right away you should notice that this guy, because he's the famous Y-axis, that means one axis is going to move but not the other. You're able to do the gimbal lock uh, dance here. <laughs> and this one, there's nothing moving. right? So that's a big problem. Uh, because now I'm going to have trouble moving to frame 40. Oh, let me get rid of the animation here. Uh, move to frame 40, and that's cool. Problem is, I have no way of rolling it again. So if I go to this guy, there's... How, how do I roll? So let's see, if I go into local and try to roll it, you're going to start getting some freaky stuff, which means it's going to do this weird kind of wiggle. You don't want that here. Same thing with this guy. He's going to start doing some crazy stuff. Eh, it's not too bad, but it's it's it isn't exactly the way we want it or would expect it to move, right? So this is generally the reason why we use X as our direction in which our bones look at, and and because we always know that the Y axis can cause trouble, we generally set up the primary axis of rotation as Z. So that was the reasoning behind why we had those two rules. So can you set it up as Y? Sure, but if you lose the ability to roll the the bone. Just note that that can happen.